Well, looking at security on the larger scene now, as Nigeria rounds off her presidency of the United Nations Security Council this week, her representative to the United Nations, Professor Joy Ugo, says the nation's profile has risen among the Committee of Nations. Professor Ogu, who ruled out Nigeria's accomplishments in an interview with Channel's Television, also pointed out that the assignment has not been without some challenges. It's been an intense three weeks um, of activities because uh, of a world increasingly in turmoil. Uh, you know that um, the Security Council is charged with the responsibility of ensuring international peace and security. And uh, the five, uh, 15 member states have uh, the responsibility not only in their national capacity, but especially uh, in their capacity as members of the Security Council. Guinea-Bissau has been the most challenging because uh, following the elections, we thought we are done with uh, Guinea-Bissau and uh, that peace is restored, but uh, we are disappointed that uh, there was a, a constitutional crisis. But that is being uh, addressed at uh, all levels, at the sub-regional level, at uh, the continental level and also at the level of the United Nations, especially the Security Council. Um, beyond challenges, uh, we, we really had the opportunity to accentuate what is positive about our country, especially following the debate on uh, Ebola and the threat to international peace and security, and also the issue of um, security sector reform, which is not only relevant in, in the countries emerging from uh, conflict, but also relevant in peacetime. And uh, of course, our debate on the role of regions and sub-regions in maintaining international peace and security. The point has been unequivocally uh, uh, conveyed that the region uh, is the first responder to crisis is the responsibility of the region to monitor crisis and, uh, and institute early warning signals, which ECOWAS, of course, does. So those debates have accentuated uh, our position uh, in ensuring international peace and security.